First tonight, the police chief constable who's been investigating an undercover policing scandal has told this programme it's been hugely damaging. Derbyshire's Mick Creedon is reviewing the covert unit that sent Mark Kennedy to pose as an environmental protester in Nottingham, which you may remember saw two high-profile court cases collapse. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Just come through here. Mark Kennedy's cover was blown after he was arrested in this raid in Nottingham. He'd infiltrated a group that was planning to occupy Ratcliffe Power Station. He'd even had a sexual relationship with one of the women he was spying on. It led to the collapse of two trials and questions over whether undercover police were breaking the law. And for the past four years, Derbyshire's chief constable has been investigating what went wrong. Kennedy, hugely, hugely damaging. He's not the only officer to be engaged in sexual contact and there's a number of civil claims which have been paid and are ongoing. Massively damaging because the, the public will look at us and they'll look at us and say, we trust you, the police. Mark Kennedy spent seven years spying on eco-protesters in Nottingham. They were horrified they'd been targeted by the Metropolitan Police. There are many, many, many extremely brave undercover officers. They save lives. But I think there could never be a circumstance where an undercover officer should engage in intimate sexual relationships with a subject, ever. We need to make sure they are tackling the right people, the most serious people. And the revelations about Mark Kennedy have already led to much tougher controls over covert policing. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today.